वेलकम बैक टुडे विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 11-27 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द स्टील कैन डिलीवर टी बीम इज मेड फ्रॉम टू प्लेट्स वेल्डेड टुगेदर एज शोन डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम लोड पी दैट कैन सेफली सपोर्टेड ऑन द बीम इफ अलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज 170 मेगा पास्कल एंड अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज 95 मेगा पास्कल सो दिस इज द टी बीम दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ टू प्लेट दिस इज वन दिस इज टू The dimension of these plates is 150. Thickness is 15 millimeter. This height is 150, and this thickness is also 15 millimeter. And this is the cantilevered beam that is made up of this T beam, having concentrated load at this point and this point of value each P. This end is fixed support. So you have to find the maximum load P that can be applied on the beam so let's start with the solution the first step is that if we remove this support fix support at po this point so you will be having a reaction force let this is point a so this reaction force will be r a and there will be a moment which is represented as m a so first we will find r a and r Uh, and M A by using equilibrium condition. The so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero, and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So this is a point A. So one moment is M A, which is counterclockwise. It will be positive. The second moment will be P into perpendicular distance is two, and this will be clockwise. So it will be negative. the third moment will be p into perpendicular distance is 4 and this will be clockwise so it will be negative and the sum of all moment must be equal to 0 so ma minus 2p minus 4p is equal to 0 so from here we will get ma is equal to 6p now we'll find R A by using another equilibrium condition, and that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero, and upward force is taken as positive. So R A minus P minus P is equal to zero. I will write R A minus P minus P is equal to zero. So from here you will get R A is equal to two P. Now you have M A and R A, so you will be you will be able to find uh, to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So I will draw it. Take the vertical line from the end of the beam, and there is a horizontal line to show the length in meters. Here we will be having shear force. So let each division is P. So this is P. This is two P. similarly here it is minus p clear so at uh, this point a you can see you have r a which is equal to 2 p so your first point will be this one now moving from point a till this load there is no other force so it will be horizontal till this point clear and now you can see that you have a load of minus p here so 2p minus p will bring it to p so shear force will change to p this is p and again moving from p to this load there is no other force so it will remain horizontal and at the end you can see you have minus p which will bring it to downward so this is your shear force diagram and now we will draw the bending moment diagram so again you have to take a horizontal line to show x in meter and here you will be having a moment now let each division is equal to each division is equal to 2p for moment you can take it as per your own convenience minus 2p minus 4p minus 6p and you can see that at this end you have external moment ma which is equal to 6p so while drawing bending moment it will cause it to go downward so first point will be this one now the area under the shear force diagram will also give you the bending moment so this is 2p into 2 is equal to 4p 
so at this point we have movement which will be equal to minus 6p plus 4p will equal to minus 2p so i will locate minus 2p at here so this will be the point this is minus 2p and you can see that this is a horizontal line shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a straight line and slope will be increasing because this area is positive area the second area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area is equal to p into this length 2 so it is 2p so here this moment will be equal to minus 2p plus 2p will equal to 0 so your next point will be this one this will be 0 clear this is a length of 2 meter and this is also 2 meter okay now we know that uh, uh, section modulus is equal to uh, maximum bending moment divided by allowable bending stress clear and uh, this we do not have uh, section moment uh, section modulus and we have given the cross section of this T shape so we know that section modulus is also equal to I divided by C where I is the second moment of inertia so we will find the section property section property which is equal to I clear so for that I will draw this cross section of the beam clear so let me draw it It's not correct. Let me draw it like this. So this is the T beam. This width is given as 150 millimeter. So in meter it will be equal to 0 0.150 meter. This thickness is again this is 15 millimeter so it will be 0 0.015 meter clear and from this till this this length is again 150 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.150 meter and this thickness is also 15 millimeter which is 0 0.015 meter okay now uh, we have to find i so for that we need uh, centroid from where neutral axis will pass and how you will find that so for that we have formula which is equal to y bar and that is equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area so let this is your uh, one this is your plate number one and this is your plate number two clear so this formula y dash will be equal to y1 dash bar into a1 plus y2 dash bar into a2 divided by sum of area which is equal to a1 plus a2 clear if we take this upper as a reference line clear i am drawing a line a reference line so the area a1 will be this area clear and this area is 0 0.150 into 0 0.015 so i will write it area a1 is 0 0.150 into 0 0.015 and what will be its y1 dash so y1 dash will be distance from this reference line to the till the mid of this section so this is your y1 dash and that is equal to 0 0.015 divided by 2 which will give you 0 0.0075 plus a2 now a2 is this one so this area is 0 0.150 multiplied by this value 
I will write first 0 0.150 into 0 0.015 and what will be y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section second section okay. this is y2 dash if you draw a line from here so this distance is y2 dash let me take it over here so this distance is y2 dash and that is equal to 0 0.150 divided by 2 plus 0 0.015 which will be equal to 0 0.09 so i will write 0 0.09 divide by area a1 plus a2 so 0 0.150 into 0 0.015 plus 0 0.150 into 0 0.015 clear okay so when you solve this you will get this y dash and this y dash will comes out to be 0 0.04875 meter from the top reference line so i will draw it by using another color so this will be your neutral axis let this will be your neutral axis and a and it will be at a distance of y dash which is equal to 0 0.0 0 uh, 0.0475 meter there yeah. now you have this y so you will be able to find the i about neutral axis so i is equal to 1 over 12 bh cube clear generally but you can see here there are two members that is member one plate one and plate two so we will use parallel axis theorem parallel axis theorem to calculate the i and parallel axis theorem is sum of i dash plus a d square clear so for member one you can see this is its breadth which is 0 0.150 and height is 0 0.015 so i will write 1 over 12 breadth is 0 0.150 and height is 0 0.015 5 cube 1 over 12 bh cube plus ad square area is 0 0.150 into 0 0.015 and what about d square so d square is distance from neutral axis till mid of so this will be your d so you can see this is neutral axis and this is the mid of this so this distance is your d1 and that is equal to y bar minus y1 and y1 is 0 0.017 so i will write 0 0.0487 minus y1 is 0 0.0075 plus this is d square plus now the turn of second area and second area is this one so 1 over 12 its breadth is this and height is this so i will write 1 over 12 0 0.015 into 0 0.15 cube plus area which is 0 0.015 into 0 0.15 clear into d square now what is d so d is distance from neutral axis till the centroid of second so this is the centroid of second and this is neutral axis so this gap will be equal to d2 and this is equal to y2 minus y dash that will be d2 
so i will write y2 is 0 0.09 minus 0 0.0487 whole square okay so when you solve this you will get the value of i and that i will be equal to 11.918 into 10 to power minus 6 meter power 4 clear and now we know that section modulus is equal to i divided by c so we have i we do not have c so c is the maximum distance from neutral axis either top or below so you can see the total height is 0 0.165 and this is the neutral axis clear from the top so this will be the c and this c will be equal to total height minus y dash will give you this distance c so i will write it c is equal to total height is 0 0.165 meter minus y dash is 0 0.04875 so you can just put it over here section modulus is equal to i which is 11.918 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by c divided by c which is 0 0.165 minus 0 0.04875 so when you calculate it it will be 0 0.10252 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter now you have section modulus you have maximum bending moment clear so we know that uh, maximum bending moment is equal to section allowable stress into section modulus i will write section modulus is equal to maximum bending moment divided by allowable bending stress that was given over here clear so maximum bending moment you can see is minus 6p clear absolute value of maximum bending moment is minus 6p or 6p because this is absolute value clear and allowable stress is also given over here which is 170 mega pascal and s is there so you can just put the value 6p is equal to 170 mega pascal so 170 into 10 to the power 6 and s is 0 0.10252 into 10 to the power minus 3 clear so so from here you will get p is equal to 170 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 0 0.10252 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 6 so you will get the value of p comes out to be 2904.7 newton or p is equal to 2.90 kilo newton now we will check it with the shear force now whether this value satisfy the shear stress or not so for that we know that maximum shearing stress is equal to v into v max into q max divide by i into t clear see what if i draw the cross section of beam again so you can see this total height of the beam was 0 0.165 meter and distance of neutral axis from the top is y bar and this y bar was equal to 0 0.04 0 0.04875 so you can see that for finding q max q max 
we need this was your c their distance from neutral axis till this is c so this area is the maximum area and this c is equal to 0 0.165 minus 0 0.04875 so this area this thickness was 0 0.015 so q max is equal to y dash bar into a dash so this y dash is this is your y dash will be distance from neutral axis till the centroid of this shaded portion this is y dash and that is equal to c divided by 2 c divided by 2 so i will write 0 0.165 minus 0 0.04875 divided by 2 and multiply by this area which is equal to uh, c into c into 0 0.05 so again what if i copy it and move a little bit over here so that we can get the space okay so area is c which is 0 0.165 minus 0 0.04875 multiply by this thickness which is 0 0.015 clear so you will get q max will be equal to 0 0.101 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter now you have q max as well v max will be taken from the shear force diagram so that is 2p clear v max is equal to 2p and 2p is given as 2.90 kilonewton you have i as well which we have calculated over here this is i and thickness is this one this is thickness so i will write the value of i as well so i is equal to 11.918 8 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 and thickness is 0 0.015 meter now you have all the values you can just put it in the formula which is maximum sharing stress is equal to maximum shear force into q max which is the first moment of inertia divided by i second moment of inertia into t so v max is uh, 2 into 2.90 q max is 0 0.101 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by i is 11.918 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear into t is 0 0.015 and when you solve this you will get 3.29 mega pascal this is the maximum sharing stress so maximum sharing stress you can see we will check it whether it is greater or less so that is 95 mega pascal allowable so maximum sharing stress is less than allowable which is 95 mega pascal and the maximum is 3.29 mega pascal so maximum sharing stress is less than 95 mega pascal so hence the value of p is equal to 2.90 kilonewton that can be applied on this beam for safe loading under this loading p is equal to 2.90 the beam will be safe and that was all about problem 11-27 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it although it was a lengthy problem but uh, i hope that you have enjoyed 
those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching